Kenya itainuka Kenya itasimama Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo mimi ni mkenya mzalendo je wewe today we are going to have another press briefing um, being friday the 25th of october the government remains steadfast in its commitment to delivering on its promises to the people of kenya as we continue to advance the prioritized uh, outlined in bottom up economic transformation agenda known as a better plan the government aims at fostering an inclusive prosperous kenya for all and to ensure enhanced quality of life for kenyans affordable housing and access, uh, expanded access to decent uh, living the affordable housing program is transforming the lives of kenyans by enabling access to dignified and affordable homes as of today the government has ongoing construction of 75 sites in 37 counties the houses are at various stages of completion ensuring access to over 124000 homes at prices affordable to a wide range of income groups notably home ownership is now possible for kenyans contributing as little as kenya shillings 3200 per month with social low cost and mortgage gap earners all able to participate through the Bamboyangu platform where over 547000 kenyans have registered ahp is designed to bridge kenya's housing gap by providing affordable housing units to kenyans across three key income brackets number one social housing which has a monthly income of up to kenya shillings 19999 low cost housing monthly income between kenya shillings 20000 to, uh, to 49999 Mortgage uh, gap housing, monthly income between Kenya shillings 50,000 to 149,999. So I think it's good that we emphasize this. Social housing is up to 19,900. So about 20,000 and below. That is what is social. Uh, then those who are, are getting low cost houses is between 20,000 to 49,000 or about less than 50,000, 20 to 50,000. And then mortgage uh, is uh, between 50,000 to 149,999. So you can see. Then beyond that, uh, when you earn over 150, of course, you can get a mortgage from the market. And currently, there are about 50,000 mortgages. The AHP is not only providing affordable homes, but also creating significant economic opportunities. Over 160,000 jobs have been generated across the country, with 4.4 billion shillings being allocated for local artisans and fabricators, supplying building materials, uh, and also additionally, the inclusion of recognition of prior learning, RPL, in the program is empowering skilled youth and women, providing them with certification and steady employment. The AHP uh, you know, uh, pillar is indeed a beacon of economic empowerment for the youth, artisans and women, and including people with disabilities, uplifting families and communities. We are very glad that following the court ruling affirming, affirming the uh, affordable housing program, the government's commitment to providing affordable housing has gained renewed momentum, benefiting more Kenyans. During the just concluded Mashuja Day celebrations, His Excellency President William Ruto presented a check of Kenya shilling 750 million to Carl Obura, chairman of the Kibra Juakali Association, uh, which will support 300 artisans who will then supply windows, doors, and balustrades and other essential housing components for the uh, under the AHP uh, pillar or program. Aura, um, we really highlighted the program's positive impact on the community, noting that crime has decreased in their area because many jobless youth, including himself, now have opportunities to utilize their skills and earn a living. Yes, now also this issue of Adani, uh, we are partnering as a government, both at JKIA, but also in, in terms of energy, so that we can reduce these power outages. The Adani energy deal represents a significant milestone in Kenya's mission to secure reliable and affordable energy. This strategic partnership between Adani Group Holdings and the Kenya Electricity Transformation Company, Ketraco, leverages public-private collaboration to support the establishment of a 35 megawatt geothermal power plant in Menengai, Nakuru County. Economic growth and industrialization through the project uh, will ensure that the government um, 
uh, will harness Kenya's vast geothermal potential uh, in order to drive economic growth and industrialization across towns such as Nanyuki, Meru, and Nyeri. Uh, of course, this uh, project is being financed at a cost of about 95 billion from the Adani Group, uh, Adani Energy, and will be fully funded uh, by the private sector, sparing taxpayers from additional financial burden. The government will pay investors uh, via negotiated willing charge, ensuring transparency and sustainability in energy expenditure. It will also ensure that there is job creation and capacity building uh, in order to ensure that uh, we have local capacity in renewable energy production and transmission. And these are the projects that align with our goal of expanding Kenya's energy infrastructure without increasing uh, public debt, uh, a model uh, that ensures that there is fiscal responsibility and, uh, for strategic uh, growth. So it's very, very important that we understand this, that the, the new way is PIPs and PPPs, uh, privately initiated uh, you know, uh, projects and uh, public-private partnerships. Uh, and, and, and that is working very well. Like even the Rural AHP is a PPP and it's working very well. By working with trusted partners, we will achieve nationwide energy connectivity by the year 2030 so that we achieve the Vision 2030. And remember, this is the last MTP. This is the MTP4. This is the last under the Kenya Vision 2030, which is a 27-year you know, vision. Uh, we also are able to see some not very good um, um, challenging um, the, the X space. Uh, when the president congratulated um, uh, the fourth four months, and there was this issue of new funding model, please, we want to reiterate to tell fellow Kenyans, because it's good to always repeat this, that the new higher education funding model is accessible and it's equitable and sustainable. Because currently, most of our universities are almost insolvent, they are bankrupt, and they had a debt of up to 80 billion shillings. Education remains a cornerstone of our national development strategy. The new higher education funding model introduced by the HE President William Ruto on May 3rd, 2023, is a reformed approach that supports Kenya students from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. Under the new economic uh, education funding model, students are categorized into five financial need bands, each receiving a, vary a varying percentage of scholarships, tuition loans, and household contribution based on their level of need. For example, the higher need category band one is eligible for a scholarship covering 70% of the program cost, with the remainder supported by a 25% tuition loan and only 5% household contribution. Additionally, students benefit from upkeep allowance ranging between Kenya shillings 40,000 and Kenya shillings 60,000, depending on their categorization. This ensures that financial assistance extends beyond tuition to cover basic living uh, expenses. This tiered approach ensures that students with higher Financial need receive greater assistance, while those with lesser need contribute more through household support and loans. Students who are not satisfied with their assigned band have the option to appeal for placement in a band that better suits their needs. For example, a student called Nyambega from Dedakimadi University has benefited from this model. Initially categorized in band three, Nyambega appealed and was reclassified into band two. With the adjustment, he received additional funding, allowing him to settle his tuition fees in full, illustrating the model's responsiveness to individual circumstances. The model is a testament to our commitment to inclusivity, equity, and sustainable funding. By focusing on students instead of institutions, the government is ensuring that deserving individuals, regardless of financial background, have access to quality higher education. Now, let me turn now to the Social Health Authority, or SHA. The SHA initiative reinforces Kenya's health infrastructure. It's one of the five pillars uh, about uh, universal health care. Uh, providing accessible, affordable health care, SHA simplifies the, the process for citizens to access services by supporting preventive, curative, promotive, and palliative care. Uh, both in both rural and urban areas. So pre uh, preventive, promotive, actually uh, uh, pre uh, promotive, uh, preventive, uh, uh, curative and palliative in both rural and urban areas. This initiative also addresses the shortage of healthcare facilities and personnel, particularly in under-resourced regions. More than 13 million Kenyans have enrolled under the SHA with details of 5.5 million already updated in the SHA database. 
Additionally, a significant number of unemployed Kenyans have completed their self-assessment through means testing and made the necessary payments. Uh, this, is, this has seen actually a portal, the employer portal, recording 20,000 employers who have successfully onboarded their employers, employees, sorry, details and remittances to facilitate the seamless transition. So it's a very good move, 20,000 employers. Uh, this, is, this has really risen, uh, and uh, the number is over 12 million Kenyans. And the government uh, urges employers to ensure that the details are onboarded into the platform so that their employees cannot miss out. And also, we are contracting additional health facilities, but those that were involved in malfeasance uh, are not going to be considered. We have a bill of 30 billion, and we've already paid 1.5 billion. So that is it. Now, also, there has been propaganda in the social media that the government does not support freedom of worship. In line with the Constitution, the government of Kenya reaffirms its unwavering support for freedom of worship as a fundamental right. Kenya's policies and practices are rooted in the understanding that religious freedom is vital for democratic society. The government affirms that religious diversity strengthens our nation. The recent discourse around freedom of worship has underscored the need to reiterate our commitment to uphold these rights. The government is actively working with the religious leaders and communities to foster mutual understanding, respect and support. By doing so, we counter misleading narratives that suggest otherwise ensuring that all Kenyans can exercise their faith freely. These initiatives reflect the government's dedication to ensuring affordable housing, robust energy infrastructure, and freedom of worship, quality education, and comprehensive health care for all Kenyans through strategic partnerships, inclusive policies, and unwavering commitment. We, as a government, will build a Kenya where every citizen has an opportunity to thrive and to prosper. We urge all Kenyans to support this program as we move forward together towards a prosperous and united country. Kenya itainuka, Kenya itasimama, Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo. Mimi ni mkenya mzalendo. Jiwewe. Kwa muhtasari ni kusema kwamba leo tunataka kuzungumzia maswala ambayo yameibuka katika wiki hii. Mwanzo ni kusisitizia kwamba kuna nyumba za bei nafu na unaweza kununua nyumba hata kule kwale kwa shilingi ya tano, kule makenji kwa shilingi alfu tisa na sitini, na wakenya waingie katika uh, uh, mfumo huu, kuna miradi sabini na tano katika gatuzi thalathini na saba, na tayari zaidi ya nyumba ya alfu moja na ishirina ene zinajengwa, na zingine zitakuwa hata unalipa shilingi ya na miambili kila mwezi, e, na tulikuwa tukusema boma yangu, nyumba yangu, mimi ni shujaa, Na tayari wa Kenya zaidi ya alfu miatano arubaini na saba, wamejisajili kuweza kufaidi kutokana na nyumba hizi. Kuna ile social housing ambayo ni ya watu ambao wanapata pesa mpaka shilingi elfu kumi na tisa na miya tisa na, na tisina tisa. Kuna ile naito low cost housing ambayo pia ina shugulikia wale ambao kati ya shilingi elfu shirini na shilingi elfu hamsini. Na wale ambao wanaza kachukua ile mortgage mkopo uh, wa shilingi elfu hamsini mpaka elfu miya moja na hamsini uh, ukipenda. Na Tunaona zaidi ya kazi elfu miya moja na sitini zimeweza kutengwa uh, na pia kufanyika na utakuta kwamba zaidi ya bilioni ine nukutane zimeweka kwa wale ambao ni watu wa juwakali kama yule kara aura ambayo walipatiwa shilingi miya saba na ishirini kule kwale na mwishimua rais pia wengine walipatiwa kule thika. Eh, kwa hivyo ni watu ambao wanafaidika sana hapa na kuna hata wazazi ambao wanasema mpeleka watoto wa skuli kuna mama alituambia kule eh, nafikiri kirenyaga kwamba ameweza kutengeneza kila mwezi shilingi 1030 na sasa na mahali pa kuenda kila asubuhi kwa hiyo ni jambo zuri zaidi na pia tukiangazia maswala haya watu wa Kenya please chukua hiyo nyumba usianze kusema siju mambo na mwana gani Tuk, uh, kifika mwisho wa, wa, wa huu wa huu mwezi uh, wa, 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 wa huu mwaka kumradi tunapatia na nyumba 1180 pale mkuru kwa jenga studio apartments eh tutapatiana hizo we, wale watu watakuwa pengine wanaishi kwa nyumba ambazo zilikuwa zina hali ambayo ni e, sio nzuri zaidi wataanza kuishi katika nyumba nzuri we ukikuwa hapo unapiga kelele unasema hawezekani wacha utapata na robi imechukuliwa na wewe hauko na pia hata mambo hiyo mambo ya adani e, kwa sababu unaona watu wanaongezeka zaidi wanasema eh namna gani adani tunasaidiana mambo ya, ya airport na pia hii mambo ya kutengeneza geothermal katika hii maswala ya adani E, tunashughulikia mambo ya airport pale ekari elfu tatu 
na tunataka kuwa na airport mpya ndiweze kuwa inasheheni zaidi ya mamilioni ya wakenya ambao wanasafiri na wasafiri wengine lakini pia kuna shida umeme kila wakati kuna kuwa na power blackout hakuna Sti, uh, stima lakini tukitengeneza hii geothermal eh, mvuke na wanakuja kuwekeza zaidi ya shilingi bilioni 95 tutakuwa tumemaliza shida hii na watu wanakuru wa Meru eh, na kadhalika wataweza kufaidika kutokana na hili kwa sababu tunajua tunahitaji kawi kwa njia kubwa zaidi na ili tuweze kuzalisha uh, uchumi wetu eh, na tuweze kuwa ni watu ambao wanajikimu katika mambo ya kibiashara na ujue hii pesa ikikuja kutoka wawekezaji hatutaweza kwenda kukopa kwa sababu hatutaki kukopa ili tuweze kutafuta njia za kuweza eh, kujikimu katika kawi pia tutakuwa tutakuwa tukipata nafasi ya watu wengi kuweza kupata ajira uh, na ili ile ruwazo yetu ya mwaka 2030 iweze kuafikiwa eh, kwa sababu najua eh, hilo ni jambo ambalo tumeweza kuwa tukiliangazia sasa eh, kama ruwazo wa miaka 27 ikifika kwa mambo ya malipo ya shule eh, vio vikuu eh, nafikiri tuseme kwamba hili ni jambo ambalo tukufurahia kuona vile ambavyo wengine walikuwa jaribu kusema kukashifu wakati mheshimiwa rais alikuwa anawapatia ana, ana eh, motisha wale wanafunzi ambao wameanza kidato chao cha nne tuseme kwamba sasa hivi tuna mfumo mzuri wa kuweza ku eh, mahitaji ya karo eh, katika vitengo vitano na mtu yote yote ambaye pengine ako na shida anaweza kuhakikisha kwamba anaweza kufanya ile appeal kama yule nyambega ambao tume tunajua alikuwa katika band 3 lakini akapelekwa band 2 na sasa anaweza kujikimu kwa sababu vyo vyetu vimekuwa havina fedha hata kidogo e, na ni, kwa hivyo ni vizuri tuseme watu wachukule hiyo nafasi pia watu wengine katika mpango wa sha tayari saa hizi sasa tuko na watu milioni 13 e, na watu milioni 5.5 wameshaweza kuhakikisha kwamba sajili zao ziko sawa na wafanyika wa, 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 wajiri zaidi ya uh, 1200 wameweza kujisajili upya lakini zile hospitali ambazo ni gushi na zina ukora kuna zitupilia mbali na wale ambao walikuwa na double registration watu milioni tatu tumeweza kuondoa kutoka kule kwa ile ya NHIF then ya, ya shilingi eh, elfu mil, eh, bilioni 30 tutailipa na tumeanza kulipa eh, kwa, kwa, kwa shilingi bilioni 1.5 zaidi ya hapo tunasema kwamba kuna uhuru wa, wa, wa kuabudu na zile tetezi za kusema kwamba sisi tunapinga uhuru wa kuabudu hizo ni porojo na ni propaganda na mheshimiwa William Ruto na serikali yake iko katika mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtu yote ambaye ataweza kutengwa watu waabudu eh, lakini kwa heshima kwa njaa wao yote Kenya itainuka Kenya itasimama Kenya itanawiri kwa umoja na uzalendo mimi ni mkenya mzalendo je wewe asanteni